What's up YouTube, it's your boy Buids, and today I'm finally bringing you guys my signature styles and attribute update video for 2000 subs. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for this video since 2K16, but I haven't made it just because I made the channel like so late into the year and I just thought that you guys would be able to tell what was good and what was not good in the game. But 2K17 is totally different because each archetype has their certain dribbles and what they should use because like since there's speed boosting everyone's gonna have like certain types of that but for slashers I'm going with the ones I have for dunking as like passing someone up so yeah if you're a slasher like me these are the best ones to use. Alright so getting into my shot right now I'm using release 27 and that's mainly because I don't have the shot created yet because I haven't really gone for it because I'm not going to be shooting that much anyway because I'm a slasher but uh, yeah 27 is good alright for me for the mid range at least and the best free throw in the game definitely is Steph Curry because in the 21 courts I'm always going to green light with that and for some reason I had Dirk as my contested shot but that really doesn't matter because I don't take contested shots but I just put it on Curry and the best dribble pull up is definitely Kevin Durant just because and spin jumper Lance Stevenson that's my personal uh, preference you just jump with that square to do that and hop jumper I just do that for the Curry speed the best post fade in the game for sure is Michael Jordan and the hook, hop shot, protect jumper, and shimmy shot are useless, so I just put that on one. Alright, so moving on to my favorite part. If you haven't subscribed to Suka 16, you should know that I do take off all my dunks in order to activate the contact ones, but in 2K17, you actually have to buy them and equip them, so yeah, you just have to do that. And for layup, I'm using Jamal Crawford and Ali. I haven't bought any packages just because I think in order to get a contact one, you have to take them off. And for the contact dunk packages, you guys have been asking like if it's glitched for me, and yes it is. I don't know why, but for some reason, you've only equipped one contact dunk uh, for now. So if you put like three, two, and one in the slots, it's going to change them to one of the other. So in my opinion, uh, change all of them to number three so that you get number three. Because there's this one dunk in there that is like, like the best one I've seen. I think it's the one after this one. Uh, yeah, the whole one. If I get that. But yeah, guys, if um, you guys have any questions about like which contact and tech you think is the best, it's definitely number three. For my dribble moves, I'm using crossover elite two because this is a crossover six I'm pretty sure from 2K16. And behind the back four, um, elite four is so OP in the park, man. If you see my gameplay, you can see that I get past the dudes like that's annoying. For um, spin, I'm using Elite 4, which is like useful for getting post stars here. Hesitation, number, uh, normal 1, that's Hesitation 3 from 2K16. And uh, Rhythm Dribble, that's really nothing. Um, I just put that Elite 5, just because it looks nice. And Basic Size Up, Elite 4, that's the 2K14 cheese with um, that step right there. That big hop step. And uh, Inside Out Size Up. It's uh, John Wall. I don't really use it. It's just like the best one that they had. And that's goes with the same thing as for the crossover size up. Um, I use Steph Curry. And it just looks nice. But I don't really use it as, uh, as much as I should. And between the leg size ups. I'm using John Wall. And I like that first size up animation. Which is like what my. And that's why I use it. And behind the back. I'm using Elite 1. I would use Jamal Crawford. But it's like glitched to where you can't use it. So this is like the closest thing to it, and it's actually helpful. I don't have any park gameplay moves just because I'm a pro too, and I haven't been playing park a lot. But I really want to get All Star One just because I think you can get contact park dunk packages, and I don't know if that's true or not. But like that's what it says on the unlock, so I hope it is. So here I'm just showing you guys my attributes and what they cap out at. So I'm only an 80 overall. I haven't been playing practice at all. Um, I might once I use all my upgrades but right now I'm not really focused about it. Um, I have my layup and dunk maxed out as you see and my mid range, I've been working on that. It's um, one off, it's at a 73 right now, it goes to 75. And then plus a boost and sunset boost, that'll be 85, which is pretty good for a slasher. And agility, that could be way better, it could be um, 81, it's only at a 71 right now. So that's gonna, uh, what I'm gonna work out next. And my playmaker, I think I'm gonna keep that there. Rebounding, I'll do that last. And defending, I'll do after agility because I'm not trying to get my ankles broke by that OP Hall of Fame badge. And um, so yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for my upgrades. And moving on to my badges, I only have three, I think. 
uh, no, four. I have Post Stars Hall of Fame, which I got today, and it's gold in the video, but I got Relentless Finisher on gold. Um, one minute fast break, that's still on bronze, and I also have Pickpocket. Those are all my badges for now, and um, I'm going to be making the Hall of Fame badge tutorial for Post Stars here tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that, because it actually makes a difference, guys, because I was playing Park with the gold badge, and I just got like a few dunks and they weren't even all that once i got the bachelor hall of fame the next play i promise you i got the nastiest dunk out of like all of them so far and oh, actually i jumped over someone which i'll show in the next video but that one was crazy too but i got this nasty windmill contact dunk that i've never seen before it's brand new and it's definitely showing that the hall of fame badge does make a difference guys so yeah that's gonna be for this video and I actually make this video in honor of 2k so again thank you guys so much for 2k subscribers and I just hope you guys enjoy this content I'm putting out for you guys and that's gonna be it for this video and I hope you guys enjoy this next clip I'm about to put on the screen and I'll see you in the next one.